Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm standing above the River Goy on the Millennium Walkway in New Mills. Today we've come to the town to walk along the old railway line which runs ran from here to Hayfield. We have been to New Mills before and I did a video all about this Millennium Walkway. So have a look at the link on screen now. That video tells you all about the Millennium Walkway. What we've come here to do today is follow the railway as I said. So up there, that is the current railway line going to Manchester in that direction but probably directly above us now is where the junction was for the three mile branch line to Hayfield. So I'm going to keep walking down here, we're going to go up to the railway station and um, from there I'll be able to show you from a different angle where the railway line went off. I've then got to make my way around the town and we'll end up on the track bed and um, we shall walk the three miles to Hayfield. So I'm going to make my way now up to the railway station. So here we are at New Mill Central, complete with a pacer, coupled to a 150, about to work a train service to Manchester. Now just beyond the platform, there's a reversing siding, so the terminating trains go into that siding to let other trains pass. Now if we look this way, under the lattice footbridge and the road bridge, you can see two tunnel mouths. Now the one on the left, that is the old Hayfield branch. That's a branch we're going to be walking up, although... Um, at this stage we won't be able to walk through the actual tunnel and then the other tunnel tunnel um, on the right is the one which is still um, an operational railway the railway closed in 1970 i'll get more onto when it opened as we go up the railway there was talk of it being a heritage line now had it been a heritage line you never know these pacers might have ended up working on it so i'm gonna let the pacer go off to manchester I'm going to find my way over the town and we'll go and find the other end of that tunnel or as close as we possibly can get to the other end of that tunnel. So I've just walked through New Mills Town, just coming down this cobbled back street to um, where we find the Set Valley, which is what the old railway line followed up towards Hayfield. Now, have a look here on this viewpoint. There's a viaduct. That is the railway line that we saw at New Mills Central that went through the right bore of the tunnel. So the other end of that tunnel is literally behind that tree there. As you can see there's houses above there. Now, as for the left bore, which carried the old Hayfield line, we're going to go and find that. So down there, which you can't really see, it's in the trees, is the river set. Um, when you get down there, it joins up with the river Goit. Um, I did another video on that area where the two rivers join and you've got the viaducts of the town. So have a look at the link on screen now. You can have a look at that video. We're going to walk along here. You can see, see the river down there and the waterfall. And we're going to go just along here to find the old railway line to Hayfield. So apart from this section here where obviously we couldn't walk through the tunnel, the rest of it, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to walk all the way to Hayfield. Um, you can see all these buttress-like walls pretty much holding the town up above us. There's a lovely view down there of, of the river set. So as we come to here, in front of us is the track bed. You can just see it stretching off down there you can see another bridge and it says you might not be able to see it the camera's probably not picking out but on that bridge it says set valley trail now turn around here what have we got we've got the other end of that tunnel i can just about see a bit of daylight what i'm going to do when i finish recording this clip uh yeah i think i can do that there's a very moldy looking push chair. i don't know if you can see that behind all the um behind all the himalayan balsam weed i'm gonna climb down try and stand on that rock and try and get a picture looking through um, looking through the tunnel. So um, what I'll do, um, I'll insert that now. So 
so there's the picture I took after filming this shot. Um, yeah, a bit complicated, I know, but that's how I did it. We're going to go over the bridge now, um, over the river. So the river's down there on one side. It's quite a long bridge. It's almost like a tunnel for the river. And then you can see the river cam is on over that way. We're going to go up under this bridge and um, follow the line up towards Hayfield. And um, as we get going, I'll tell you a bit about the history of the railway, etc. So this bit of the old railway, it looks rather different to um, what I was imagining. They've built a doctor's here on the old railway track bed now, and they've also filled it in. So where I'm standing, I'm pretty standing about where the roof of the train would have been, or maybe perhaps a bit lower actually. Have a look here though. This is a rather steep road bridge. And um, to remind us we're on a railway line, have a look here. You can see the top of the arch here. You can see um, where, you see where they've started to fill it in um, and some of the masonry's fallen out. Um, so yeah, that is the road bridge. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go to the other side of the road bridge and I believe from there, uh, it becomes more of a proper trail. So if you want to walk along the trail, like I did, from where we were from the tunnel mouth, the footpath takes you along the top around there. Um, it sort of went up a hill, so you could tell the, the cutting had been partially filled in, um, I suppose to make it easier for people to walk along. So across in, this is that steep road bridge, which once went over the railway. We go through this gate here. Um, what have we got? Uh, well, we've got, again, a cutting that's obviously been filled in after the railway to form this path going down here. So as for the other side of the bridge, the arch would have been about there, somewhere in front of us. So this has all been completely, well, mainly filled in. So if they were to ever reopen this railway, they'd have to dig all of this out again and um, demolish the doctors. Um, so that'd be a lot of work, but I believe the rest of the track bed is intact, but um, we should find out as I go along. I've not actually been along here before, so I'm not entirely sure what to expect. This is interesting. So we're coming down here. I think what's happening now is we're going down below the level of the track bed. I think there's probably a bridge here that's been demolished because then we go up a hill. Now this hill we've gone down and the hill we're about to go up, that is way too steep for a train to go up and down. So yeah, I'd say there was a, possibly a bridge here. Um, you know, if you know, Otherwise, please do tell me um, if there wasn't a bridge here, but I know this railway wasn't this steep and this isn't the Cromford and High Peak Railway. Um, so, yeah, th this is fairly unnatural for an old railway. But possibly once we get to the other side of the gate here, we might get onto a more, you know, walking along an old track bed that really feels like an old railway line. And um, so we should find out soon. Someone's done, painted a lot of stones. They all look really quite nice all the way down there, all the way to the other bridge. So we get to here, um, again, maybe there was a road bridge here, I'm not sure, maybe level crossing, we can go through this gate here. So it says Hayfield, oh, if I can get this, there we go. Hayfield, two and a half miles, New Mills Town Centre. So I'm gonna carry on walking till we get to Hayfield. So now we've left the outskirts of New Mills and it really does feel, you know, like we're walking along an old railway, walking at track bed level, not filled in or dug out um, as we found back there. So as for this railway, as I've said, it's not a very long line. It's only a three mile branch line. It was opened in 1868 by the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway. They later went on to become the Great Central Railway. Um, the Midland Railway also was running its trains up here, so must have been quite an interesting railway in steam days and then into British Rail era. It was run by the, um, the London Midland region of British Rail. So it then carried on, steam ended, and it would have been probably a DMU. Uh, I've seen some pictures of DMUs working up here, first generation DMUs. I don't know if it was ever, um, you know, if there ever were any loco hauled diesels up here. If you know and want to comment, tell me. You know, please do. It, um, I believe Beecham tried to close it. He didn't succeed, but sadly, he still got his wish because it did close. Um, so, 
really I think from here onwards kind of almost could be opened it's just that bit back there that's the problem once it closed though in 1970 a group did talk about trying to preserve it but you know it came to nothing and uh, the track was lifted and that was that really but I, I'm sort of thinking well when we were back at New Mills and we saw that pacer and that 150 that had come from Manchester they came into the station they reversed into the side to let a couple of other trains pass they came back into the station and then formed a train to Manchester they almost might as well have just carried on up here to Hayfield and you know so as things go maybe one day they will return the railway to Hayfield but until then it's a rather pleasant footpath I'm going to carry on walking next intermediate station we're going to go and find is Birch Vale so we'll keep walking until we get to Birch Vale station I'm now about halfway along the railway and we're just coming up to a survivor of the original railway here we have a crossing keeper's cottage and if we have a look at the sign New Mills one and a quarter miles Hayfield one and a quarter miles Hayfield Road an eighth of a mile up the hill Fonset a quarter of a mile down the hill so yeah, here we are uh, with a railway keeper's cottage um, cobbled road going down so across the railway line here I just thought I'd show you that because it is um, a surviving building from when the railway was first built so what I'm going to do now I'm going to continue on walking down here won't be too far now until we come to the other station the intermediate station Birch Vale and then we'll carry on till we get to Hayfield I'm now approaching the site of Birch Vale station so as the actual trap bed it have run probably somewhere just to the side of me there and gone across a skewed bridge over the road here so obviously all that's been demolished and it's just the path really to take us through so what I'm going to do I'm going to go over the road here through the gate on the other side of the road so if you imagine looking there now imagine a bridge crossing there and I believe the entrance to the station would have been about where this gate is here so I'm going to go through this gate and um, what I think I'm going to actually do is walk across where the track bed would have been. Is that gate going to close itself? Yep. So I think to get onto the platform you'd have walked straight up a path there. There was only one platform. So what I'm going to have to do, because this is how the path goes, I'm effectively walking through where the bridge would have been. So you can clearly see the track bed just there but the abutment of the bridge has gone and um, the road goes up there into the village of Birchvale it's a very small village um, there's not a lot there but it was the intermediate station on the three mile branch line so about now I'm probably standing um, where the track there would have been although the trains are moving a bit above my head still so we go up here and uh, we should have a look at the site of the station for I understand there's nothing left of the station at all but we can um, try and imagine what was there oh here we are that is something to tell us it was a station the sign says Birch Vale station so that's quite good at least um, anyone walking along at least knows it was a station so we get to here walking back onto the railway track bed now I think the platform would have been along here so imagine the platform stretching out in front of us there'd have been a small waiting shelter and then on this bit of land here there'd have been a couple of sidings and a good shed can't have gone any further really than just behind those trees because there's some victorian houses so i'd say about now i'm probably walking where the train would have been and the platform would have been probably just in where the trees were i cannot see though that there's anything left um, to remind us of it apart from really that sign back there saying Birchfield Station now if you have a look here they've built some newer houses so if you can see them I know it's hard to see but through the trees I can see what are definitely some newer houses they've been built on the site of the goods shed if they ever reopened the railway well you could definitely put a single track and a platform in but I suppose the way things are and there wouldn't be a requirement for a goods shed again so as I get to here probably 
about somewhere around here I'll be walking off the end of the platform or I'll be stepping onto a train and just pulling out the station um, in the latter days I said that had been first generation DMU and um, I'd have enjoyed the next um, mile, mile and a quarter to the end of the line at Hayfield. I'm now coming to the end of the former Hayfield branch. I'm just coming up towards the site of Hayfield Station, so you can see the trap bed behind me. Get to here, there's a path going off that way. I'm going to carry on this way though, through these gates. This is where the station once stood, um, so it was always, or well, for the majority of the time, it was the, the terminus of the branch. As I said, there was that brief extension when they built Kinder Scout Reservoir. Um, but for the majority of the time it has been the terminus of the branch line up from New Mills. So it really is quite a pleasant little walk up from New Mills. It's three miles long so you can easily walk here and back in a day. I could walk back. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to get a bus back because I'm looking up at the sky. It looks like it might rain. Um, and also if it's a double decker bus it might be quite nice sitting upstairs, you know, enjoying the views of the area. So as we come to here... Here we come to the station site, it's now a car park, so um, yeah, not that exciting really that this was once a railway station, now it's a station car park, but in a way what's quite nice is that people who come to Hayfield, they come here, they park their car here, and they, you know, they step into Hayfield in the same place as if they'd come by train, so in a way that's quite nice, so you can just imagine there being possibly... I'm not sure the exact layout, but there'd have been a platform somewhere, station building, um, probably a signal box at the end, a few points for the in the early days for the locomotive to run round its train, um, and then head back the other way. In later years, when it was just a DMU, train would have stopped, drive got out to the other end and walk back. Have a look here, though. It's this building here, um, and here is a bus turning circle. So what are we going to do? I'm going to have to come back here to get a bus. But before we do that, I just thought might as well show you the village centre so the bus turns around here oh and have a look at that there's even a silhouette of a steam train giving a nod to the site's former use as a railway station so there's the village you can see the church you can see the hills looming in the distance and um, this is the bypass not this road here but the road the other side of the fence that's the village bypass so i'm going to take you across there um i think actually i've come yeah this is the horses crossing that seems there's no horses about. That's the pedestrians crossing, this is the horses crossing. So, um, look, it even says wait, it shows the outline of someone on the horse. And I don't know if you can see that, there's a red horse, not a red man. I'm gonna, oh yeah, and there we go. There's the green horse. And that probably would be my bus. I'm probably gonna have to miss that one and get the next one. Um, Cause I just wanna show you a little bit of Hayfield Village. Um, but the buses are fairly regularly. So if I miss this one, it doesn't matter. Give me a chance to go and have a pint in one of the pubs. So we get to here. The village is that way. I'm going to take you through the churchyard, through St Matthew's churchyard, so we can have a look at the church. So we come into the churchyard here. See the path is former gravestone. And the church tower. So I'm going to go around here and um, just show you the heart of the village. So show you what there is on offer, because it really is... To me, I've driven through this village, I have stopped in the past, and always thought what a nice place, but I've never ever got round to walking the old railway line, now known as the Set Valley Trail, I've never got round to doing that. So, I'm just taking you there through St Matthew's Churchyard, and looking up the village that way. When we come to here, this is the very heart of the village, and it's very attractive and picturesque. Um, no cars coming, I can show you one view here. Now we have the War Memorial, the Royal Hotel, and there's the river down below us. Now if we pan round, there's St Matthew's Church, whose churchyard we just walked through. But across here, we'll go over the pedestrian bridge over the river, because I think the view you get from this bridge is really nice. Well, from this side, we've got some rather nice flowers, but have a look down there. Must be nice. Imagine living there, you've got a river at the back of your garden. But this isn't where I want to finish the video. I'm going to carry on down there um, and show you a really nice, really beautiful little um, area around the back of the buildings 
in Hayfield. So again, we're here in the village centre. The place I want to show you is just on, just past here. So it says, maybe I've seen there's a sign there. Um, I'll show you what that says in a second, as soon as we get there. Memorial Gardens. Now these aren't just any old Memorial Gardens, they're a bit different to what you might expect. So go down these steps. We go around this corner. On the first glance you think, oh, it's unusual. There's like um, a pool of water. Complete with a load of mallard ducks. It's actually a waterfall on the river. So where we were a moment ago, we were up there on the bridge. All these ducks seem very keen to be on camera. And then we've got a rather spectacular waterfall going off the edge. And then this is the memorial gardens going down here. So I'll take you down here. Look at that though, that is just a really cool area behind the back of the houses here in Hayfield. I really like that. I'll take you down here. And here I really cannot go any further. So, here we are in the middle of Hayfield, below a rather large weir. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, if you're out this way, why not come on the train like I did from Manchester, walk up the old railway, you could have a drink here and then walk back or get a bus back. Um, haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. Definitely going to have a drink now. May walk back, I might get a bus back. But you know, why not come and do this day out for yourself? I've really enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. From the Memorial Gardens in Hayfield, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.